저는 제 아이들에게 회사 경영권을 물려주지 않을 생각입니다. 이재용, the heir of South Korea's top conglomerate Samsung Group, made a rare public apology Wednesday for the corruption and union busting scandals and declared no succession. During a press conference at the company's headquarters in Seoul, he said, 저는 제 아이들에게 회사 경영권을 물려주지 않을 생각입니다. Lee guaranteed that he will end South Korea's largest conglomerate succession at the third generation, which started from Lee's grandfather, Lee byung Chul. He added he will now focus on bringing in talented individuals who can make Samsung better. However, some analysts say his plan to bring in talented individuals to contribute to the company was inevitable for the growth of Samsung. Lee also admitted that Samsung has failed to meet the public's expectations by not complying with laws and ethics strictly enough and has brought disappointment to them. Samsung also disallowed labor unions for decades, claiming that as policy actually leads the conglomerate to better ensure its workers' rights and welfare. However, regarding labor union issues, Lee apologized to those who were hurt by the group's no labor union policy and promised that Samsung will no longer pursue it and will guarantee labor rights. Lee's latest action came after the group's independent compliance committee in March urged him to make a public apology and come up with measures that can improve Samsung's compliance culture in three areas, managerial succession, labor union, and communication with civil society. This is the first time that Lee has made a public apology since June 2015, when he did so over a Samsung hospital's mishandling of the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, and this is the fourth time that the head of Samsung apologized publicly. This was Sumi Yu from Korea Now.